Hello people, we are looking at joints in this video. Joints is a topic under general anatomy. Look at this uh, image here and just tell uh, what do you see here. <clears throat> yes, this is an elbow joint and this is the right elbow joint. Usually whenever we learn anatomy, we will try to keep one picture in our head and that should be the, um, the right side better. Okay, so here you have humerus in your arm. So this part of your body is called your arm and this part of your body is called forearm in between which you have the elbow joint. And what do you see here in the forearm? Forearm, there are two bones, two long bones are there. So laterally you have what is called as a radius and medially you have the ulna. Okay, so this is the elbow joint. So how do you define a joint? So what are we looking at here? Joint. So basically joint is also called as arthron. So that's why you will hear arthritis, right? Rheumatoid arthritis or if they're or uh, if they're doing something like arthrodesis, right? They're fixing the joints, arthrology, etc. What is articulation? See this, this uh, relationship, this between this, whatever is that is the articulation, bone and bone articulation, you can say. So basically jo uh, joint is a junction, joint is a junction, what? Joint is a junction between two or more bones or cartilages, okay? So it is uh, helping in movement okay it permits movement so let us say your hand is like this okay um, imagine there is no elbow joint there's no elbow joint here okay so this is your uh, arm and this is your forearm imagine if you have something so straight and it's just a straight thing it doesn't work that way so the god has given a, a humerus here and another two bones here in between he has given a joint so that you can fold your arm and do a lot of things isn't it so it should it's supposed to permit movement However, there are joints which do not give movement, okay? Like there are immovable joints. So in your skull, can you imagine in your skull, there are some joints, right? Uh, this is your skull, let's say. Okay, the skull. So there are some joints which do not allow you, uh, you to move. But these were probably mobile earlier. Now they are fused. Now let us look at some things which are um, difficult guys. The classification of joints, you have structural classification, you have fibrous joints, cartilaginous joints and synovial joints. So uh, uh, like fibrous joints, see your skull, you have some sutures, right, a syndesmosis, gomphosis. So these are, these are the types of fibrous joints. They will not allow that much of movement. Look at this, your sutures in your skull, they have the Suture is a fibrous joint. They will not allow much movement. Synarthrosis, they are calling it as. Here, look at this ulna and radius. Between the ulna and radius, there is some joint that is syndesmosis. Okay, and then you have gomphosis, the tooth. So, will your tooth move? No, it won't move. So, that is another fibrous joint. Okay, so cartilaginous joint uh, seems a little more mobile. Isn't it? Synovial sounds really mobile. Cartilaginous joints, guys, you should know like um, primary cartilaginous joint or synchondrosis. Then you have the secondary cartilaginous joints or symphysis. Symphysis is like pubic symphysis you would have heard. Synchondrosis and syn sim symphysis. Okay, symphysis, uh, something reminds me is the pubic symphysis that is uh, in your pelvic bone. Uh, do you know where the pubic symphysis is guys? See here, you can see the pubic symphysis uh, in your pelvis, right? So what does it uh, show you? Is this going to be mobile? Slightly, slightly mobile. Okay, this is amphiarthros, okay? Amphiarthrosis. So cartilaginous joint, amphiarthrosis, fibrous joint, synarthrosis, immovable. So lastly, we have to cover synovial joint. Synovial joint are di arthrosis, diarthrosis you can say. Basically, they are freely mobile. Where will you see um, mobile? Where will you see the synovial joint? So many synovial joints are there yet. Whole of your body, your shoulder joint, the ball and socket type, your uh, knee joint, uh, the hip joint is also ball and socket type, right? You can move your leg, walk nicely. So all these, uh, there are so many types of synovial joints which will be so confusing for you. In that itself, you have uh, pivot joint, hinge joint, plane joint, ellipsoid, condylas saddle type joint, so many types of joints are there. So basically how will those joints be? They, those joints will be something that, like this, okay? This is just an uh, example. There's a bone here and there's a bone here, right? See, there's a cartilaginous, uh, uh, articular cartilage which they have marked here, right? And then uh, there is a capsule, right? Inside it, there is some synovial fluid, there is some synovial membrane they have shown here. So basically imagine how the, easily the bones can move, right? You can make the bones like this kind of, right? So basically it is quite freely move, uh, movable. This is a synovial joint. It is a freely movable joint. 
some restriction may be there but otherwise these are you can say um, move, movable and there are ligaments uh, these ligaments are of elastic connective tissue there are ligaments which hold the bones together so if you are uh, you can see here that there will be some ligaments which will hold the bone together this is your uh, largest synovial cavity in the body this is your knee joint so synovial cavity of knee joint what you see here you can see the patella that is your sesamoid bone here then you see the femur then you see the tibia this is the joint capsule inside which there is articular cartilage synovial fluid synovial membrane right all this you can see just look at this in the upper limb there are so many types of uh, synovial joints here ball and socket joint this is a hinge joint the elbow right then this is what pivot joint then here you have what e e is what e is lip uh, ellipsoid that's the wrist okay then what is um, uh, p p they have marked as p is what plane that is the entire uh, carpal between the carpals you have the plane joint nice and s what is s s is saddle joint between the first metacarpal and the carpal of the thumb just see how many types of synovial joints are there here ball and socket hinge pivot ellipsoid plane joint and this is the saddle joint first metacarpal and the carpal uh, of the thumb so between the thumb and the that the thumb one especially that's the saddle joint so it has it gives you that uh, opposition so plane joint gliding joint where we'll see between the carpals right they have shown you here hinge joint where will you see between the uh ulna between the wait hinge joint where did we see this hinge yeah hinge joint is the elbow okay then where else are we okay here so hinge joint elbow then we saw pivot joint pivot is that radius and ulna pivot joint okay then uh, here you have the ellipsoid joint ellipsoid joint where did you see guys wrist wrist is ellipsoid joint that is the rad, uh, radio carpal joint that's between the radius and the carpals ellipsoid joint then you have the saddle joint saddle joint is your uh, thumb i told you right thumb thumb the metacarpal and the carpal trapezium okay then ball and socket we told you two ball and sockets are there they will allow circumduction and all that those type of movements so this is the shoulder joint the hip joint okay then last one here there is compound joint actually a compound hinge joint is your knee joint knee joint has is a compound hinge joint see elbow joint is also hinge joint so knee is also hinge joint kind of it makes sense right and then shoulder joint is ball and socket so hip joint is also ball and socket variety right can you understand it is very similar the structure from upper limb and lower limb see here there is one bone that is the humerus and here you have two bones that is here you have the radius and here you have the ulna in the lower limb you have the femur and then you have the tibia and the uh, fibula same type you know one bone then two bones one bone and two bones can you see that yes and here you have the metacarpals there you have in the foot you have the metatarsals if you draw this diagram here below guys you will get some marks see here you will get bone and bone in between those two you have articular cartilages okay then you have a joint cavity with the synovial fluid then you have a synovial membrane which is completely surrounding uh, inside this uh, joint space okay and then you have a capsule so we looked at we have looked at the joint classification structures so cartilaginous joint remember guys example the vertebral column is a cartilaginous joint isn't it Uh, and the, what about your uh, uh, that that will allow some movement okay now let's move on to the next type of classification you have the simple compound and uh, complex joint guys based on the number of bones that sit there imagine your uh, uh, your palm right your palm how many articulations are there so that uh, your wrist joint where there are so many small small bones at your wrist okay the carpal so that will become a compound joint a simple joint where there are just two bones like um, you can think about um, uh, your interphalangeal joint your finger right only two bones will articulate more than two bones you can say more than two bones so more than two bones is very common actually your wrist joint your elbow joint your knee joint everything has more than uh, two bones isn't it complex joint is where the the joint cavity is divided by an intra articular disc like it can be a tmj joint your temporomandibular joint is a very complex joint they say right it's a complex joint and your sternoclavicular joint also uh, it's a complex joint simple joint you want yes interphalanx wrist joint so many small 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 bones 
This is a compound joint. Where is a complex joint? Complex joint here, clavicle and sternum between these two. The temporomandibular joint, right? It is a complex joint. There are some other terminologies, guys, that you should know. Like um, in sutures, there are many types of sutures. Where are those? Go back here. In sutures, you have plain suture, serrate suture, squamous suture, D. Denticulate suture. So basically, we are talking about sutures here. See, there is a plain suture. So between two things, there will just be a plane, right? This becomes a plain suture, okay? Then you can have a serrate suture, something like this. A serrate suture can be there. But this is what we see in the skull, I feel. Serrate suture. Then you can see a squamous type of suture, something like this. This will be a squamous suture. Then you have denticular suture. Denticular suture means it will be something like this, see? This is denticular suture, something like this. Okay, so many types of sutures are there. Then skin dialysis also is there. So many types of sutures are there, guys. So if somebody asks you cartilaginous joint, you will tell pubic symphysis, then vertebral column, etc. So you should understand that um, uh, the epiphysis and the dia uh, and the metaphysis or diaphysis, whatever you want to say, of the long bones, right? The long bone will have epiphysis and um, a diaphysis. The joining of these two. And you know, there'll be a growth plate. This is a cartilaginous joint. So here you can see epiphysis joining with the diaphysis. You have an epiphyseal plate here. This is a primary cartilaginous joint. Okay. Here they are showing you the vertebral body. Uh, they are connected by an intravertebral uh, disc, right? So you should know this is again a cartilaginous joint. So, so many cartilaginous joints you have seen here. The pubic symphysis, intravertebral uh, disc. This is the epiphysis to the diaphysis. All these are cartilaginous. So, you know, a joint, guys, uh, to be stabilized, there will be muscles, uh, which will, uh, uh, which will see, this is a bone and this is a bone. And this is a joint. There will be so many ligaments that hold this, these two together. There will be muscles that hold these two together. Right? So, there are a lot of things that give stability to a joint. So, step, joint stability, you will have to know. Then, uh, let us look at the nerve supply to the, the nerve supply to a joint. So, basically, there is a Hilton's law that states that, the motor nerve of the muscle, right? The muscle, uh, whichever is around, that will have a motor nerve. That will also give a branch to the joint and also uh, there will be yet another branch to the skin covering it. So, read this. A motor nerve to the muscle acting on the joint tends to give a branch to that joint and another branch to the skin covering the joint. Hilton's law. Finally, let's cover this video with uh, the importance of joints clinically. So, basically, you know, you have heard of osteo R right this, this can be degenerative it can be primary or secondary right uh, there'll be degeneration of these cartilages between these uh, bones and there can be a uh, very painful joint pain etc then you have uh, rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis which is uh, autoimmune and will affect the joints then in uh, rheumato rheumatic fever okay rheumatic fever they can have um, polymigratory arthritis. They'll have one joint pain today, another joint pain, another day, something like that. Then in knee joint, guys, the the there are it's such a complex joint. It is weight bearing also, right? There'll be a lot of, uh, uh, you know, situations which you have to handle there where the meniscal tear can be there, etc. Then, so where were we? We're looking at the knee, is it? Okay, then you can see the vertebral column. There can be disc prolapse, etc. And especially in uh, tuberculosis, it can affect the spine and it's called a spots spine. Okay. So, this is all very, very uh, important. When you go into uh, orthopedics or something, you will see a lot of trauma to the knee, knee injuries. You will see, you will see uh, femur will fracture very easily. You will see osteoarthritis case, degenerative and all that, rheumatoid arthritis. If there is polymigratory arthritis, it can uh, it can indicate rheumatic fever. Then you will see disc prolapse. You will see tuberculosis affecting the spine, pot, spine, etc. You will see. Okay. Bye, people.